In celebration of Public Safety Service Day, El Segundo's police and fire departments are holding an open house to give the community an inside look at how they keep our neighborhoods safe. We're going to show you a, little, a few of our uh, special events today, for instance, the canine demonstration, how our canine dog works, how our special weapon team works. We're going to have a self-defense demonstration. It's very, uh, our officers trained to be able to handle themselves in adverse situations. This is a great event for the kids because we're able to get up close and personal with all the fire trucks and police trucks and they have demonstrations and so the kids love it right now. Let's drive, let's bring them a drink. The fun and relaxed atmosphere was the perfect setting for El Segundo residents to meet the many faces who serve their city. Typically when, when they see us, they, uh, they see us at an emergency scene and it's stressful and it's awkward and in, in this way they can see us as, as human beings and, uh, and it's a way for us to uh, give back our appreciation to the community that treats us so well. Malachi's got to ride in the fire truck and sit on a, motor, on a police motorcycle, so we've had a great day. The tour of the police station made stops at the department's dispatch center, firing range, and prison cells. We'll go into the group cell, which is over here. You're allowed to walk in. You can see the beds. There's a shower. El Segundo SWAT team members are patrol officers who have had specialized training to perform high-risk operations. They displayed their heavy-duty gear and even let me try it on for size. This is an M16 Colt Commando, one of the many weapons used by the El Segundo SWAT team when they arrive at a scene. And we were just activated a couple days ago for the Walgreens uh, robbery that we had here in town, and our team did a phenomenal job. Also on display was the K-9 unit. Arthur happily demonstrated some of his duties, such as detecting narcotics and apprehending suspects. <laughs> Through their presentations, it was clear that fighting fires and crime is no simple task, and one that requires the dedication of a hard-working team. They, they really, at their heart of hearts, want to protect our community and want to protect our residents. I know that our community, you know, everyone's always waving to the police officers and the firefighters, and it's because they're really a treasured asset and resource for us and it's even that much better when you get to know the guys and the girls that are actually in the uniforms. A feeling shared by many who are thankful for the job they're doing. For El Segundo TV, I'm Katherine Chen.